Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop and I'm out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. It is now April the 16th and the garden has come alive, has wakened up from its winter sleep and I've been doing a lot of work out here in the garden and particularly with the daylilies. I've been feeding them a, a lot lately with um, a, a mixture of 12, 4, 8. And now I, I did that in early March and now I'm side dressing them with uh, another product called Melorganite which is a kind of like, well, it's basically sewer sludge to come to think of it, but it's, it, it's loaded with nitrogen and it helps uh, give those uh, leaves a nice dark green color and gives the health to the plant as well. So I planted the beans, the cauliflower, the Brussels sprouts, and the cucumbers back in late January and early February. I started them in pots, but then I put them out in the garden right around St. Patrick's Day, in some cases just before St. Patrick's Day. And right now, the wax beans they are ready to pick. Let's take a look. Here are the wax beans. Now remember, I planted these in the garden in early March. I started them in seed pots earlier than that. Then I transplanted them in the garden. I put these tomato hoops in here because even though they say they're bush plants, or they're kind of bushy itself, but they do like to hold on to things. But now, here we are April 16th, and look at these beans. They're already start picking. Uh, lots and lots of beans, plenty of beans. It looks like the bees have been really busy uh, pollinating. I'm getting lots and lots of beans right now. And so I'm starting the harvest already here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. And uh, let me get right here. There's a nice wax bean right there. Now the, the, they're yellow, they're not green, but I tell you what, they taste like a green bean with a slight nuttier flavor. Uh, in my opinion, the wax bean tastes better than the green bean. And I love green beans. I started these seeds again in early February. I started them in seed pods uh, inside the greenhouse and then I brought them out in the sunshine throughout the month of March and then shortly after uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, about a week after that, I planted them in the ground and they just stood there for a while but then all of a sudden they exploded. Look at them now and I'm starting to see zucchinis uh, beginning to uh, uh, grow in here. So it looks like about a week from now I'll be picking zucchini squash still in April. Now, it's also important to plant early in the season, particularly here in the south, uh, when you have the opportunity because the ground warms up and the bugs aren't active yet. And one of the problems with the summer squash, like zucchini and yellow squash, is a uh, vine borer that gets in there. Those are little caterpillars from uh, flying butterflies and moth and so forth, and they lay their eggs, but they're not doing it yet. So the plant is not suffering. So even though the plant is lush right this, like this, I have not used any kind of insecticides at all on these plants. Just fertilizer and some, and some natural organic chick manure and cow manure uh, mixed in with the soil here. And uh, these are looking really good. Now here, I have the cauliflower plants and they're still growing. No heads of cauliflower yet, but they're getting close and it won't be too much longer. And then over here uh, is my uh, cucumber patch. Again, I started them at the same time I started the, uh, the squash, and I'm already getting cucumbers. I'll be picking cucumbers, it looks like, in about three days. This one's about three days out. Uh, I don't like getting them too big, but um, I'll be picking cucumbers for the next several weeks after this as well. These are just some of the daylilies out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden and they are doing very well right now. I fertilized them with a, a 12 4 8 earlier in the month of March and now I'm adding a little melorganite uh, side dressing the plants to give them a little extra growth and a little extra uh, energy and uh, uh, make them more, a little bit more vigorous at that. And it, it keeps those leaves nice dark green and it adds into the uh, scapes the flowering scapes on the flowers themselves. Now, the daylily garden doesn't really come into full bloom until the month of May. And actually, around May 15th to June 15th, this whole garden out here will be just solid color, different colors of all different kinds of daylilies that'll be in bloom. Over here, this is my shade garden, and uh, I planted a lot of wax begonias because, well, one reason is I love wax begonias, but they do well in the shade. Now, they'll thrive out in the sun, but if you have them in partial sun or shady areas, the leaves will stay at that uh, nice, bright, dark green, and the flowers will continue to bloom 
And one thing I like about these begonias is they're kind of like, in our zone, little winter tolerance. I have a couple of begonias back over here in the pink uh, begonias that are over three years old. But most of these are planted this year. I put these in. I also put in some purple salvia and some blue salvia, perennial salvia, uh, to mix in with the ferns and the uh, tuberous begonias I got in hanging baskets. That's out here in my shade garden. One of the best things about home gardening is planting your own tomatoes. And here, I started these tomato plants. These are better bush. I started these in late February, uh, once again, in the greenhouse. And then I planted them in the ground after St. Patrick's Day. We can do that here in coastal Georgia uh, and not really be too uh, afraid of any killing frost. I had to protect them a couple of nights, but other than that, they're doing very well right now. And I'm already starting to get set to pick tomatoes. I got some tomatoes here. Look at these. They are the size of, well, they're a little bit, almost bigger than a baseball right now. And that's about as big as they're going to get. But I don't like them real big. But these, uh, you can't buy the flavor. I mean, one of the things about growing your own tomatoes is that they taste so much better than what you buy in the store. Now, if you get some farmer's market uh, tomatoes, you might luck out. Uh, the only way to get some really great tomatoes is grow them yourself or know somebody very well who grows them and they'll give you some. Another fancy of mine is growing dahlias and uh, dahlias get rather long and, and stringly at times. So what I do is I plant them inside of tomato hoops. Uh, or tomato cages, whatever you want to call them. I call these hoops myself. And the, these um, uh, dahlias that are coming up right now, they'll get up to above the tops of these hoops by uh, the middle to end of June. Now the thing about dahlias is that they'll be blooming all summer long. They don't start until about, well, the end of May, I get some dahlias, but then by um, the middle of June, the end of June, I am just loaded with dahlias. The daylilies will be fading out by then, but then June, July, and August, I'll be having dahlias uh, day in and day out. As a matter of fact, I've had dahlias bloom from the end of May all the way into the middle of November, with the peak, though, being uh, July, August, and September uh, here uh, with my dahlias. And most of them will winter over. Now, we had a cold winter this year, and I lost a lot, but I replenished, replenished those with new dahlias. And there's uh, lots on the way coming up. And over here, I got what's called a marigold garden. And the marigold garden uh, is basically Inca golds I got. I love Inca gold. gold. Uh, they're from Park Seeds. And they are a beautiful, well, there it is, a picture of it. Uh, you can see it's a golden color. They have orange, gold, and yellow. I favor the gold. I have a large area of Inca marigolds. And behind that, I planted taller marigolds. Now, the Incas, they'll grow about 12 to 15 inches high. The other ones behind, they'll grow from 24 to 36 inches high. That's three feet. And they'll have big flowers on the top as well. So I'm, I'm excited about what the marigold garden is going to look like come, uh, well, the end of May and all of June. We'll see. Well, thanks for watching. You know, besides showing garden videos on this channel, I also have weather videos. I try to put out at least one weather video a week or more if weather gets active. And it's probably going to get active a little bit later on uh, this month. And then going into the month of May, May is usually a very active weather month. Uh, and then you got the hurricane season. So yeah, there'll be lots of weather videos on this channel as well. But as, 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 along with that, I'm out here in the vegetable garden and the lily garden and the heavenly backyard garden. And when I'm not out here during the day, I'm out here at night with the telescopes with the heavenly backyard astronomy. And that's on my other channel, Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. So if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to this channel. And uh, there it goes right there. And also, if you have any comments, I love getting comments. And so does YouTube, uh, the YouTube algorithm. Uh, actually uh, loves seeing comments and it gives them more it it's a robot gives it more uh, in indication that people are liking this kind of video and then if it thinks people are liking the video it'll push it to other people so please uh, leave your comments and hit the like button uh, there it is right there uh, it's coming up there it is the like button and uh, that helps with the algorithm as well but anyway now I just 
love being out here. And one of my favorite things, uh, well, besides the Heavenly Backyard Garden at night, is the Heavenly Backyard Garden two other times of the day. In the morning, when the dew is on the roses, I guess you'd say, I come out here with my cup of coffee and my cat, Rizabella. <laughs> we take a walk through the garden and just enjoy Mother Nature at that. And then the other time of the day is uh, uh, in the early evening, just before sunset, the garden looks fantastic with the sun's shadows uh, gleaming on the foliage and the flowers. And I'm out here with my, well, I, love my, I like my draft beer as well. And taking a nice little a drink, and refreshing drink, walking through the garden and just enjoying it. So I hope you enjoy this tour and I'll have more coming up as the garden comes in more of, uh, in bloom. Uh, that'll be right here on my Weather and Nature channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Isabella.